Alright, what's up though? Hey bro, so look bro. I got a story to tell you. You know what I'm saying? I <laughs> shit I fucked up. If anything, I fucked up, bro. You know what I'm saying? I I got into that sales position like a few months ago, back in August. A couple months really. I got in that sales position back in August. And I mean I had one sale or whatever. It it was like trying to turn up, you know what I'm saying? I I, I tried to take that route on going into the sales. Kinda like, shoot, if if anything how I was looking at it, it was supposed to be like a shortcut, bro. A shortcut in life. And one thing's for sure. It wasn't a shortcut at all, bro. It, it just it, it just made it made the goal that I really need to reach much longer to achieve. It wasn't a shortcut at all. And unfortunately, I'm in a position to where I'm waiting on a, a job, basically. Like, get back to being a mechanic. And essentially, sure, I, <laughs> I got four more days to rent due. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no pressure because I've been reading Proverbs. So with, with me reading Proverbs, I understand that that comes with wisdom. It comes with an understanding, it comes with actually listening, right? Because the moment that I take a left or I take a right off of the path that God planned for me, it, it's not gonna go well, you know? And I think when I made that decision to leave Saya when I was there, I think that kind of, I think it was based off emotion. <sighs> I think that decision was based off emotion and showed. Just had to learn me a life lesson, if anything, bro. I, 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 I know I ain't posted in about a few weeks. I just, man, I just ain't really feel like it. Lost that drive. You know, you know it, it, it's the feeling of like, bro, like, I, I don't want to say that I took it as an L, but I definitely took it as a lesson definitely was a hard lesson in life that for me to think that I can just go into this position, go into this role and, and kind of things will be different, so to speak like I'm literally like, like when, I, when I first recognized that this ain't gonna work out I'm like damn bro it's done happened again. You feel me? Like, it, it's done happened again. And now, I'm back. No job. Waiting. Gotta take a drug test. You feel me? And it's not even, I, I have a job. You feel me? Don't get me wrong, I do have a position. It's at KBR, it's a government contractor. If anybody's out there looking for a diesel, mechanic position, automotive, so come hop on that KBR, them boys paying good. Um, they paying good and it's like, they have a lot of positions open. Um, and it's down here in Jacksonville, but had to really think about like why I'm making these, not even why I make these videos. Like, I was watching uh, Rich and Unemployed. His channel got deleted. So he was saying, like, damn, like, do I get back to making more podcasts? Or is like, do I go into his other business and pivot? And uh, with his third leg thing that he do, whatever. He said he was making some good money off that. So 
he, he he's he's in that position where he just gotta make that decision, right? Um, where he's gonna have to pivot. So I ain't even trying to sound down, but it's like, man, I'm just at a point where it's tough, you know what I'm saying? But I put myself in this position. And that's one thing that I learned, like, or I have learned. Like, wherever, wherever position that you, wherever you at in life, just know that you put yourself in that position. So, for instance, with myself, where I was getting paid like 400 a week, I was getting paid like 400 a week. I had to have to reach into my RRA, my rollover, my 401k, whatever. I was having to reach into that just so I can pay my bills, you know what I'm saying? And um, that was like a 10% uh, tax every time I took it out. Um, but honestly, bro, like it, it, it comes back to my one video where I was like, I hate social media and I disappeared for like three months. And I think that's really what got me, bro. Like, I had uh, started watching a whole bunch of sales videos. I'm like, man, this is what I'm about to get into, bro. I miss sales. I felt there was good in it. You know, back when I was doing ADT door to door. So why why I can't do over the phone? You know what I'm saying? Why I can't do that? Right? You know, how my girl would say, I got some blind confidence in myself. And, um,. Unrealistic. I was kind of unrealistic with myself. I thought that if, I thought that if I thought I could do this, you know what I'm saying, I could put the effort and energy into being the best nigga there. And that just wasn't the case. It, it was a it was a skill gap. It was a, a, I guess a learning gap. I, I don't know how you would say it, but. I, I would say it was a skill gap, maybe. You know, I think I was pretty good at it, but it, it just wasn't. It wasn't breaking the bacon home. Cause look, it's, it's the process is like this, right? And this is why I just didn't expect it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't expect the, such a process. So, say that I did get somebody on the phone. Okay, I got him on the phone. Hey. Yeah, okay, cool. You want this amount of money, you're gonna use it for this, and you want it by, let's say, Monday. Um, for, let's say Friday, because today is Monday. Let's say you wanted it by Friday, okay? If we didn't fill out the application over the phone, and you didn't send me your bank statements as well, then I have to then chase you. So I have to call you, keep calling you, text you, you know what I'm saying? I might email, yeah, I'll email you too, the application, just so you can get it done. Like, so I have to go through all that, right? That's a process, okay? And then once I do get you in, now I gotta see, now I gotta get it broken down. I gotta get the processes to, to break it down for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let them boys uh, uh, see what you really make monthly, what you're depositing monthly. And then, like, if you have any overdrafts, uh, if you have any uh, bankruptcies in the past, something like that, like claims, pending claims against you, the business. Uh, so now it's like, now it's okay. So now we're taking that, okay? Once after that, now I got to submit you, or the person who's helping me, he'll submit you to all these different funders who can get you funded. You might get declined because you got too many negative days. You might get declined because you got too many overdrafts. It's it's a lot of factors, okay, that that boils down into um, why you wouldn't qualify. And then you you might get some money, but it might be it might not be for the amount that you need, okay. So with that being said, if we get them the amount that they want, they might not even take the money. And then I'm back at square one trying to get somebody on the phone. And that could range from 500 calls in a day all the way up to, let's say, 3,500 by the end of the week. You know what I'm saying? So I done made those many calls to speak with at least, what, 2% of people. 
maybe like 20 people who actually stayed on the line or at least heard me out, didn't hang up after my pitch, you know what I'm saying? So it was definitely uh, something to learn. And the book of Proverbs is about wisdom. And if anything, I, I just I just need to be more wise in my decisions. Need to really think before I actually make a decision and make sure it's the one that aligns with what God wants for me in life. Because I think I was really, I made that decision off of myself. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm in a position where it's like, okay, now nah, I'm not working, you know? And I, I, this was like, when did I start working? A couple weeks ago. So that was like a couple weeks ago, Wednesday. Today, today. so I would say 10 days maybe. 10 days I, I ain't been working. Uh, I didn't count the weekends just because. But it, I guess you could say it's been at least two weeks, so to speak. Um, but I really like watching butterflies. Butterflies are like, like sometimes. Sometimes I have a sign. I think butterflies are my sign. You know, I've been seeing rainbows too. So those are really my signs in life. If I'm going on the right track, I think. I I, I can't speak for sure, but I think when I think I'm going on the right track, because when it comes to the butterflies, that's like it's like a rebirth. My grandmother loved butterflies. That's all that I think about when I see one. I just see that she's she's watching me. She's with me. You feel me? And as I I've, I've done I've read six chapters so far in the book of Proverbs. The book I have is a it's a pretty old one. It's, you know they're speaking like thyself, um, thy just just. I don't, I don't even know what what what, Eng, what English that is like old English like the first book basically, so that's the type of book I'm reading. But then I go into my phone and just ask for like a, a English better English translation, and I read that one out loud so I can kind of understand it much better. But I read the the, the one in the book just silently because I don't understand it for real. Um, I I, I kind of am getting the gist of it just from reading the six pages or the six chapters I've read but it just gives me some time to think if anything get back to and enjoying the things that I like to do yesterday I balled it's pretty fun I hooped on them niggas well I balled out on them niggas boy them niggas ain't even Niggas ain't got nothing on me, bro. It's been months since I balled, bro. Niggas ain't got nothing on me when it comes to balling, bro. I'm talking about uh, stupid, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, hit the reverse layups on niggas, hitting them threes on the niggas. Like, man, I really like that, bro. Uh, I think that's, uh, I was just watching a video today. It's like, don't forget about your passions, you know what I'm saying? I, I, basketball is truly one of my passions. I can't forget that. I can't let that down. Basketball is my passion. I think playing the game my passion, bro. I love playing the game, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I think that when I was watching these people, you know, they would say like, like watching watching people like like Bedros, maybe uh, Andy Elliott would say some shit like that. I don't know the people the people who say you need to stop playing the game, stop doing this and that. You feel me? It's like, man, all right, I stopped playing the game, and I did. I stopped playing the game for like a month or two, right? And like, like bro, that shit had me like, that shit was crazy, bro. Like, shit ain't doing nothing in the career. And now I'm spending my other time just scrolling through social media. You know what I'm saying? Like, though I'm not playing the game, now I'm spending my time social do, scrolling through social media. Some shit I hate to do. Like, deleted Instagram. I deleted Facebook. You feel me? Like, uh, YouTube up fucking next. Shit, it ain't it ain't that bad where I be be on YouTube a lot, but because 
YouTube is going to be for my educational purposes when it comes to learning about diesel engines and stuff like that or the diesel side of things and like that's just that's just where I'm at bro like I need to get back into who the fuck I was I don't fuck with social media <laughs> you know what I'm saying I think it's fucking weird you feel me niggas be lying all day right some people don't some people do be lying um and it's deceit it's deceitful you know niggas be deceiving and shit and I fell for it. At the end of the day, I fell for that shit. I thought I could get into sales after watching these videos. You know what I'm saying? And change my life. Become, become a fucking boss. Making X amount of dollars. You know what I'm saying? I saw that shit for myself. And come to find out, it's a whole different story. Maybe that just wasn't the industry I was supposed to be in. I don't know. Shit. But... At the end of the day, I fucking went out there and did it and gave it my all. So, and I was working from like, uh, I was working from like six in the morning, maybe, no, seven in the morning. The schedule was supposed to be from eight to six. I worked from seven in the morning to about seven at night, maybe even eight. Still ain't even end up with no call, bro. Still ain't even end up with no, no docs, no leads, you know what I'm saying? Like, Hey, that shit was kind of, um, shit was kind of, shit was stressful. If anything, shit was stressful, bro. I was like a stressful ass job, and and now I see why. Like, like at the end of the day, you're going to work. I had to learn that you're going to work. Whatever, whatever you're doing, you're going to work. Now, the moment that you stop working is the moment you start feeling like, man, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Because that's that's kind of how I feel. What the fuck am I doing with my life right now? You know what I'm saying? Proverbs taught me God is with me through every decision, through everything that I do in life. He's on my shoulders or something. Okay? So, it's all about wisdom. It might be that, it might be time for a transition in what I talk about. Or even. Shit, you, you might not even see me for a minute, bro. I don't know, bro. You know, I, I, I'm i kind of in the same position as, shit, rich and unemployed, bro. Like, like I don't know if I even want to still make YouTube videos. You feel me? Like, do I need to lock in? Do I not? Because it's like, do I need to not even worry about my YouTube channel and just fucking lock in on what I need to do, which is provide for my family? Like, it's about to be peak season. So, I'm definitely about to try to be at Amazon, FedEx. Try to make some extra money. I ain't behind on my bills, but I've been paying them as I can. You feel me? But I got to make up a band by the end of the week. No pressure. Um, so, I ain't, I ain't, like, really, bro, I ain't even worried about all that, bro, on the real. I'm not worried about all that, bro. I just know if I make the right decisions, God watching me, I might gotta sell some stuff, might gotta pawn some stuff, pawn my systems, you know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping by it, bro. I, I ain't tripping by it, bro, because I don't even know if you can hear me, bro, if anything, because I know I'm kind of whispering. It's like, man, I just wanted to make this video, bro. Shit, that's where I'm at, bro. You feel me? Like, I know I know I disappeared. And for the people who do watch my videos, you know what I'm saying? I think uh, I, I do appreciate the support. I appreciate people watching my videos. But shit, that's where a nigga at right now, bro. On the real. So, only thing I can do from this point forward is try to share the wisdom. That's the only thing I want to do. I always want to be learning because that's one thing that that uh, like uh, these books and stuff like that like these people who even own these videos and stuff like that all this stuff come from the bible anyway there ain't nothing new under the sun there ain't nothing new that someone has already thought about you know what i'm saying and put it onto paper some people just take action when that thought come in right so, because if you don't do it, 
somebody else will if you had a great idea somebody else gonna take your idea it's just some type of it's a universal law or something you know like just, just, we're all connected at the end of the day we're all connected so but not wanting to ha become wise will leave you foolish one thing I've learned. I, I it's, it's it's crazy, bro. Got to be a whole new person. I thought I was supposed to be this person. Now I'm like this person. Now I'm me now. Now now I'm back to who I should have been, who I need to be. You know, I might have to lock out. I might gotta lock in for like six months. I might gotta disappear on some shit. You know. Cause no, no nobody really care. Like. I, I, let's see. I will say, I've been pretty, like, I wouldn't even say, I'm not finna say lonely, but, shit, the things that I do nowadays is completely different to what I used to do. You know, I know my friends. Know the people that I hung out with, I should say. Everybody got their own life. I ain't got no problem with that. Everybody has their own life. And I think now my life, it resides with my family and a couple of my friends. That's, that's Jalen and my dog Becca with the uh, with the mobile mechanic business. My dog Jalen, he in IT. He recently got promoted to a senior uh, DevOps position, I think. Um, so, shoot, yeah. he, he living nice right now. I'm proud of him. Super happy for him. Becca, she, she just, she out, here, she out there doing her thing, you know, getting her bread up. Been, been independent without of a job for a year and some change. Super proud of her for that. So, I'm super proud of the friends that I do have. I really am. Um, I'm proud of my girl. She, she's on her way to lose about 100 pounds. Man. So it's a big, it's a lot of big things going on, and I feel like I feel like I don't, I don't know if I don't, I don't even want to, I, I don't want to compare myself. You know, I don't think that that doesn't do any good comparing myself to any of my uh, colleagues, people that I love, um, but. I just know I need to do better. At the end of the day, I, Sean Ringer, need to do better. Ten years gonna go by either way. Where do I want to be in those ten years? So. But with KBR, it's supposed to be working on their like hydraulic equipment, military equipment. It's a, it's a nice, it's a nice job, bro. Don't get me wrong. They got like, they got like ship, uh, they got ship positions. Like go out the country, you know what I'm saying? Go out the country. Um, but they got, it's all over the, it's all over the world. They they got positions all over the world. But I can ride the ship, you know, be a mechanic on there for a little bit. Um, go out to Germany, Sydney, Australia. Uh, New Zealand, I think. Well, no, nah, let me not say all that. Definitely Germany, definitely Spain, somewhere in Spain. Uh, some other positions too, other places in the country. Shoot, bro, I, I might go out there for real, bro. Like, if, if my family do want to come, I might just go by myself, bro. <laughs> like, really, I just, 
just want to just want to goddamn live you feel me and I make these videos for anybody who listens I make these videos for my kids so they can see who their daddy was you know what I'm saying how he was still learning he was still going through life and I sometimes wonder if my dad was in that same position I'm just gonna end it right here. I appreciate you for listening. If you made it to the end, thank you. Around here, we just chilling, bro. Around here, we just be doing shit. Shit plays along with your character. But shit, I'm trying to find myself. What else you want me to do? I'll see you later.